Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome in. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Uh, today, what we're going to do is open up four of these mystery power boxes. Um, you can find these, I think, only at uh, Walmart. Um, I have four of them to open today. Um, the thing with these, or the, the gimmick, is that you can uh, get chase packs seated one in ten. Uh, and they say, look for randomly insorted vintage packs. Um, so... <laughs> We have a black and white pack here, another black and white here, and then a legendary collection. Um, if you, There's just no way you're gonna get something like that. I, I think that's just outward false advertising uh, on their part uh, to, sh to show that so prominently there. Uh, maybe there's one out there somewhere, but I have never even gotten what I would call a chase pack, nothing like these. The best that I have really gotten is uh, like a burning shadows or you know shining fates i guess probably um and they, who knows th those could be what they call chase packs there's no other information here um for for hit rates on those or what you can even possibly get all it says here is uh that these products have been purchased from manufacturer or purchased from the secondary market by mj holdings so these are kind of a known scam uh, i still pick them up pretty regularly and i don't know just to see if you can get anything ever. So without further ado, let's open up uh, these four boxes and, and see what we get. So it's been a little while since I've seen any of these. This was like the first time uh, in several months. So I picked up a couple at the store and then I ordered a couple more on eBay. So who knows uh, when these were actually made. It's kind of hard saying because they may have reprinted them. It says 2022 on it, but let's see what we get inside. Um, so these ones, you can't actually get any cards or anything, and as we have a Scarlet and Violet base set, we have a Lost Origin, nice. Uh, Silver Tempest, okay. And an Astral Radiance, oh, and then another Astral Radiance. So uh, definitely no chase pack in this one. Um, I'm thinking we might just go through all four boxes right away because I just kind of want to have all the packs and then rip through all of them at once. So we'll go through the second one here. So like I said, never pulled anything good out of these as far as uh, chase packs go. Um, I've never seen anyone do it, but I don't know, maybe we can be the first. So a Silver Tempest again. Uh, Chilling Rain, okay, that's a new one. Uh, Fusion Strike, okay. So at least we're getting some variety here. Another Astral and another Astral. So we'll put those aside. Um, you know what? Let's let's open the packs that we have uh, right now, right here. So we'll start off with this Astral. Um, I haven't been opening as many packs uh, recently as I did in the past. Uh, not really any particular reason for it. Oh, wow, these are that's really banged up um i mean then again it is just kind of thrown in there what's that called jubilife village okay driftblum kasuian quillfish growlith bergmite rufflet ponyta that's a cool artwork uh irida irida and a non-hollow a reggie drago so this is kind of nice like i said haven't been opening as much it's always fun to open, and yeah, it looks like we're not going to get a hit here, so let's just kind of speed through these. Psyduck, Pedalil, Stantler, Bergmite again, Gardevoir, okay, Trainer Gallery, that's cool. Uh, and then the Mighty Yenna is a rare, wow, okay. Uh, and there's the rest of that stuff, so, you know, kind of a hit. We'll, we'll, we'll count that as a hit. We'll get into this Fusion Strike here. Um... Yeah, and it's been even longer, I guess, since I've done a Sword and Shield opening. I've been focusing a lot on 151 and some of the other uh, Scarlet and Violet sets like Obsidian Flames, which uh, is a fun set. Those are those are two fun sets. Uh, Turdinator Reverse, uh, it's an uncommon, and a non-hollow. So, no luck on the hollow slot so far as we get into a chilling rain. Uh, let's see what we got here. 
nope, looks like we're not gonna get anything. Uh, I don't, I think they have a trainer gallery in this set. This, this might've been the first one, which we don't get anything. Um, because I think that came after Brilliant Stars, if I'm not mistaken. As we got a Silver Tempest up next. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of these sets just haven't opened in a little while. They're getting a little tougher to, uh, to find. So this is all fun. Pile of Sand, Matang, uh, Furry Sewed Girl, Noibat, Togedemaru, Sandile, Swirlix, Marini, Capturing Aroma, and another non-hollow. So I think we're something like 0 for 5. We are 0 for 5 right now as we rip another Silver Tempest pack. Now, funny thing kind of happened with Silver Tempest. Um, there were there was a certain product, I want to say it was a tin, certain tins where you basically guaranteed an ultra rare per pack. So it's kind of screwed a bit with the um, value of cards and singles in the set um, as we finally get our first real hit of the day, a Reggie Drago V. Um, I unfortunately never was able to get any of those products, but I did see some, some people open that and, and it was pretty cool, pretty neat that <laughs> have busted pull rate like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of the singles kind of fluctuated violently after that with the guaranteed hits. We had an Ultra Ball, Defiance Band, and an Indeedy Holographic from Scarlet and Violet Base. Not my favorite set. Astral Radiance uh, is also not my favorite set. Uh, I have to say, obviously, Evolving Skies, Lost Origin, I think those two are better if you're, even, even Chilling Rain, um, I like a little bit better. Uh, but it, it's not a bad set. And you have the Trainer Gallery and um, Alt Arts and things like that. So, because I think you have Trainer Gallery. It's so hard to keep track. Uh, as we have another non holo. Uh, we have two more packs here Astral Radiance, Lost Origin. We'll get the other Astral out of the way. And let's see right off the bat do we have something? Probably not. So, we'll just kind of fast roll this. Uh, Shadot. Bronzor, Rowlet, Isuian, Quillfish, Mightyena, and that was another Mightyena. Uh, another Mightyena rare. Alright, last pack from those two boxes is our Lost Origin. So let's see what we can get out of here. There we go, that's a good sign. At least I hope so, so we'll slow roll it. Uh, we have Kamala, which can't say I've ever seen that card before. Thornton, Bronzong, Snowbur, Rhyhorn, Apom, Roselia, Gumi, Chandelor, Trainer Gallery, and a Barbacle Holographic. Um, yeah, interesting. Like, I never understood what these were on some of the random holo cards. Uh, but kind of neat, I guess. So I'll put those aside and. We will get back now to our other two mystery power boxes here. And uh, hope for, I guess, a little bit better luck on the pulls. It's been a little slow to start. And it would just be crazy if we can get, even if we got like a, you know, a, one of those, um, where is it? Plasma Blasts there. Don't think I've ever opened up a black and white pack. There's some pretty cool cards in those sets, and they don't get as much attention or love as a lot of the other older packs. Oh, I see a battle style. Okay, that's different. As we have another Astral Radiance, we have a Lost Origin. We've got a Chilling Rain. We have another Astral. And then we have our Battle Styles pack. Kind of cool, haven't opened that set in a while. And let's rip right into this last guy here. And then we'll see what we got from the rest. So, 1 in 10 odds, allegedly, to pull a chase pack. Probably not going to happen today. Um, not that our odds are particularly good with only 4 to begin with. But, okay, we have a Vivid Voltage. We've got another Vivid Voltage. Uh, we have Shining Fates, okay. 
some different stuff here, Chilling Rain, and a, another Lost Origin. So, no chase pack today, but uh, at least we got some pretty decent variety uh, of packs here from Sword and Shield. Uh, only one Scarlet and Violet base, so that's you know, that's kind of nice. Open some older stuff here um, as we get a Sudowoodo, Electrike, Love Disc, Gligar, Wurmple, Luminion, and a Magnezone V-Star. Okay, so another hit. Nothing too crazy, but hey, we'll take that uh, into a chain ring. Kind of excited to open up some Vivid Voltage. It's been a little while. Never did pull the uh, Rainbow Pikachu. Um, another big card, I think, from that set was uh, the Leon Full Art. Also didn't pull that. I didn't have good luck with Vivid Voltage. Um, or, or, or really Battle Styles, for that matter. And we get a Celebi VMAX. So two hits in a row. Um, that's a nice looking card. We'll take that. And we will hop right into a Shining Fates pack. This, this set just doesn't go away. I still see this at, you know, Walmart and certain things, certain stores. There's just collection boxes still out there, which is kind of crazy because um, I think that set came out in 2020. And that was back when there were people lining up around, basically around the store uh, when it was so crazy. You couldn't really get any, any cards at that time during the pandemic because we get nothing out of that pack. Um, so, just kind of crazy to still see that that set in regular retail with um, how old that is. So, um, all right, let's see. Well, that one did pack trick for this one. Why not? Let's see if we can get back on track here. Gutsy pickaxe, Zisu, Kirlia, Hoot Hoot, Ponyard, Huchien, Yanma, Drifloon. Yanma, and a Shaman. Another card I haven't seen before. That's kind of the fun thing. I feel like with how many cards I've opened and seen, it's kind of fun to still, even in these newer sets, just see cards that I have never seen before. And I don't know if I've really been showing the code cards, but if I have, I hope I have, because um, I don't use any of them. Swoobat, Macargo, Crocorock, Ferroseed, Riolu, Sandow, Whalmer, Weedle, Whimsicott, and a Drapion V. So, another hit there. Still haven't gotten anything crazy. Let's try the other difficult dish pack here. Um, I have pulled several of the um, non Rainbow Rare um, Pikachu V Max from this set. I do like that card too, but it would be cool to at some point get that, the Rainbow Pikachu, or Chuckachu as they call it. Chimeco, Hitmon Top, and a Lycanroc non holo And moving on, I think we'll save, so we still got Chilling Rain, Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, Battle Style. I think we'll save the Battle Styles for last, and we'll go like this. So we'll hit this Astral. Pretty cool to get a uh, alternate art out of this set. I think the only one I've gotten from here is the uh, Beedrill. Uh, if that is indeed from this set, uh, maybe even the Unknown, unless that's from Lost Origin. I can't remember, but I have pulled both of those at different times. Cyndaquil, love that. Assuming Quillfish, Thievil, and a Basque Legion non-holographic. Okay, last three packs of the day. We have our last chilling rain here. Let's do the pack trick for all of these last couple. So we'll do this. Can okay, we have an energy, Melanie, Whirlypeed, Sabold, Ralts, Heracross, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Spiel, Hatna. Peony and a Beedrill Hollow. Not a huge fan of the regular Hollow patterns on the Sword and Shield stuff. I just, I don't know, they could have done better on those. When you compare, for instance, I mean, look at this here. This is just a random Diamond and Pearl 
Masprit Hollow I have over here. I mean, just look at the difference. Masprit is just a lot nicer to look at. A lot more interesting to look at, in my opinion. Oh, anyway. Into Lost Origin here, our last one. Save for the battle styles. So we got V-Star Marker. Gloom, that's pretty cool artwork. I like that, a little trippy. Luminion, Mirage Gate. Uh, we got that weird color border thing. I'm sure there's a meaning behind it, um, but I don't know what, ooh, look at that ding up in that corner. Uh, it looks like only that card though. Rockruff, Roselia, Seal, Shuck, Growlithe, and Mr. Mime. All right, well, this is the last pack. Um, if you stuck around till the end, thank you for watching. Hopefully we can get something out of this last pack. That would be pretty sweet. Some last pack magic would be nice. Okay, looks like we might have a shot here. Uh, there's that last code card. And maybe, you know, um, what is it? The Mew alternate art. You've got the Gengar alternate art, I believe, is in this one. Uh, so let's see. That would be, be really neat. Esper, Roly Coley. Salandit, Phalanx, and an Empoleon V, regular ultra rare. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.